Hey guys, how's it going? Shiro here, and today I have a new video. It is a complete Skyrim graphic overhaul along with a complete overhaul in general. Um, I've done a similar mod to this literally like a few days ago. Uh, the reason why I'm doing one again so soon is again, it's mostly graphic focused. And two, this is mainly mods that I have personally like liked most of all, like my overall personal favorite mods. Um, so yeah, this is these. Th there's no influence from you guys in this logo. This is just me. <laughs> this is me pouring it all out to you guys. These are all my favorites. Let me know what you guys think anyway. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. We're so close now. I can't believe how quickly I've gained subscribers, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you all so much. Anyways, let's get on with the video. First up, we have the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. This mod fixes bugs and glitches Bethesda themselves never got round to fixing. Following that we have the Campfire Complete Camping System mod, this adds in, well, a complete camping system to the game. Then we have Lanterns of Skyrim 2 1K, this adds in lanterns along the roadside so you can see where you're going at night. After that we have Lanterns of Skyrim 2 Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, just make sure the two mods work well with each other. Same for Lanterns of Skyrim 2 Campfire add-on. Then we have Nordic UI, possibly the best looking UI mod you can get on Xbox, it gives it a new new revamped look and it looks amazing. After that we have the Parthenax Dilemma, this allows you to not kill Parthenax and still keep the blades happy with you. After that we have Tetsunami Katana Set 2K, this is a craftable Katana Set within the game. Then we have Ordinator Perks of Skyrim, this revamps the perk trees within the game allowing you to diversitize your character builds. Then we have Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim adding in 155 new spells, 31 per school. Then we have the Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility patch, just make sure the two mods work well with each other. Then we have Mythical Wonders optimized for Xbox, a beautifully looking weather mod for the game. After that we have Realistic Grasses Overhaul, obviously this is a grass mod, and actually incorporates one of my favourite grass mods, Origins of Forest 3D Grasses, it looks absolutely stunning. Then we have landscape fixes for grass mods and Mefarius's grass fixes for creation club content. These two mods just make sure that no grass will poke through places where you wouldn't expect to see it. After that we have CBBE curvy all in one. This adds in a curvy female body shape to the game and also refits all vanilla armors to the new body shape itself. Then we have CBBE baby girl HD fair skin complexion. My uh, personal new favorite skin texture mod. It looks absolutely amazing on female characters. I'm not gonna lie guys. Then we have the old full definitive uh, beauty pack. This adds in some textures for the female character faces and they look amazing. And then we have the R246 Concept XBR. This adds in some presets for the female characters. I used Nord and then the final one on the, on the little slider. After that we have Skyland All-in-One, the most complete texture pack you can get for Xbox. It looks absolutely incredible and it does have generated loads so it looks really good. After that we have Belly Aches Animal and Creature Pack, this re-textures a bunch of animals and creatures within the game. After that we have Enhanced Blood Textures, then we have Northern Vanilla Farmhouses, this changes the roofs of farmhouses within the game to match that of Cities of the North. After that we have Keo Skimpy Outfits, CBBE Curvy All-in-One, changes the Vanilla Outfits and DLC Outfits within the game to be more skimpy. After that we have Imidium Born Book of Silence, this retextures a lot of weapons, armors and some uh, creatures within the game, giving them a new texture and making them look incredible. After that we have Fashions of the Huntsman, Fashions of Banditry, Force One Fashions and Steel Fashions. These four mods will add in a bunch of armor variety to the game so when you come across a bandit that might have a new unique armor set that you know you wouldn't you don't normally see within the game it's not it's, it's not like unique like as in like it's rare because a lot of the bandits will have it but they look absolutely incredible and some of them actually are on the skimpier side as well so i like that they look really cool then we have real bows 1k retextures and remeshes with the bows within the game making them look absolutely stunning after that we have just new female animations it says what it does in the tin guys after that we have belt fastened quivers, it just makes sure that when you have like, a, um, a bow and arrow equipped, the quivers are actually on your like the back of your hips and they look a lot better as well. After that we have Chaos Hairdo's Primal Pineapple Pack, I never thought I would say that in a mod name before, uh, but it has in some really nice hairstyles and it has my one of my personal favourite ones which I am using for my character, uh, you can see that in the thumbnail. I'm not sure the name of it, so don't ask me. I, I, maybe one day I'll figure it out and tell you guys, but for now, no idea. 
And for that, we have the eyes of your soul. My new favorite eye retexture mod looks absolutely incredible and has a bunch of different options to choose from. And for that, we have Pandorable's NPCs all in one. This redesigns and retextures uh, like a ton of NPCs within the game. Like, I mean, a lot. Uh, 152 to be exact. After that, we have Beijing all in one and Beijing all in one and unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. Uh, obviously Beijing all in one redesigned a lot of female characters within the game and obviously the Beijing all in one unofficial Skyrim special edition patch just makes sure the two mods are compatible with each other. After that we have Breeze Home, a complete redesign of the interior and slight redesign of the exterior of Breeze Home making it look incredible along with a lot of unique storage. After that we have Whiterun, the city of trees light. This adds in some amazing looking trees that are viewable from outside and inside the city of Whiterun. After that we have Trees of Aduna all in one. My personal favorite tree mod for the game on Xbox. It looks They look absolutely amazing and the logs were fully generated and they are really performance friendly. So really good tree mod. After that we have Cities of North all in one bundle. This obviously is a City of North mods for um, all the, well it's all of them in one. After that we have the Cities of North Creation Club Anniversary Edition patched. If you have the Anniversary Edition of the game, make sure you get this mod, it is required. After that we have Cities of the North All-in-One Lanterns, uh, Lanterns of Skyrim 2 patch. Just make sure the two mods are compatible with each other. After that we have Dave's Lily Pads. This adds in some Lily Pads and um, such a, and a bunch of other water plants to the game. After that we have Sophia, the funny, fully voiced character. Uh, she is a custom follower mod that you can find out inside the uh, White Run stables. After that we have the XP32 Maximum Skeleton Plus Realistic Ragdoll and Force. Then we have the Anchorfessus, uh, I can't even say that, it's a post pack, it's not even required for you guys to download, I just used it for creating my thumbnails. After that we have Dawn Waters with Natural Waterfalls, um, retextures the waters within the game and adds in new meshes for the waterfalls, making them look a lot more modern and not as clunky as they do in the vanilla game. After that we have Disabled Jump and Salmon, purely because the new Natural Waterfalls mod changes the meshes and changes the layout of where the rocks are within the game. So this disables the salmons because if, if you kept the salmons in they would be jumping through the rocks and it looks a little bit silly. After that we have Skyline Lods, um, so when you're in game if you see textures in the distance, if you don't have like a Lods pack, um, there will normally be vanilla assets until you get closer and then it will load up whatever texture mod you have in. But with this it won't do that, it will just show Skyline textures from whatever distance you are at. And then finally we have the alternate start live another life mod this is the quickest way to jump into skyrim allowing you to have a bunch of different start options as well and um, so that is the complete mod list guys let me know what you all think uh, this is obviously my personal favorites in a mod list without any influence from you guys obviously and my mod lists have evolved from like your recommendations and stuff like that but this is my you know my favorites they're the ones that i i will probably play with you know the most but let me know what you guys think. Like, you know, leave a like, comment on the video, subscribe if you are new. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Peace.